Ah, uh, yes, the good old days, the good old arcade, a place of fun, competition, raging, and games fall asleep making you exercise. Or at least it used to, because now it's just a place where theaters earn extra money. But I digress. The arcade was a fun place for many. Lots of memories were made, but the arcades were mostly unheard of. Until Disney decided to sprinkle some money, I mean fairy dust, on the idea of an arcade-based movie. Thus, the plans for the famous creation, Wreck-It Ralph, was founded. Wreck-It Ralph is a movie about Big Garns McGee no longer wanting to be a bad guy, even though he is the bad guy. What the f- A girl named Penelope who is considered a glitch and wants to be a new character in her respective game, but is shunned by everyone else. Accompanied by a lot of moneymakers, I mean characters, like Qbert, Street Fighter, SONIC, Pac-Man, and Mushroom. Mushroom? Sure, why not? Anyways, the movie starts off with our main protag, Ralph, in the Pac-Man world attending a seminar for bad guys, since it was his game's anniversary. During which, Zangief from the Street Fighter series says, just because you are a bad guy, doesn't mean you are a bad guy. This, this line right here, is literally what describes the essence of the whole movie, you god dang beautiful son of a gun. Spoilers, man. After the seminar, we see Sonic, I mean, Ralph, go back to his game where we get to see Felix, the hero of the game, having a party with everyone else in the game and Pac-Man? The f- Which gets Ralph jealous and go to a bar. I thought this was a kid's movie! Anyways, after many other events, Ralph lands in the game Hero's Duty and essentially causes Doom the video game. Afterwards, he meets Penelope in the kart racing game Mario Kart Sugar Rush. Yeah, Sugar Rush. Which Ralph finds out that he that she has a special gift of glitching, which makes people discriminate her because she is different. I thought this was a kid's movie. Meanwhile, back at the Ralph game, due to him being missing from the cabinet, the cabinet can't function, it will be unplugged. So Felix goes to find Ralph, and then he meets fan service, halo of effect, and drama to person to find that Ralph screwed up horribly, and the aliens followed him and are destroying the current world of the racing game. Then Ralph tries to fix the issue. Along the way, he learns what it really means to be a game character and a bad guy in the game. It's essential. Every game needs to have at least a bad guy or some type of antagonist. So even though he's the bad guy, he's not a bad guy. And Penelope also learned to accept of what she really is, and everyone else learns to accept what she really is. A freak of nature. I mean, special. Yeah. Special. And in the end, Ralph finally gets treated like a friend instead of a bad guy, because in reality, he isn't a bad guy, because he is the bad guy. What? All in all, Record Ralph is a story about searching for your true self and belonging alongside rejecting people who treat you differently, or going against the status quo. From Ralph's hate for being a bad guy even though he isn't a bad guy, but instead just misunderstood, to Penelope being outcasted for being different beyond the game's specified coding. When I was younger, I was believed for having autism and ADHD, but after watching this movie and seeing the themes it actually talked about, it helped me work through those dark times and motivate me to help others in a similar position. Because everyone deserves to be understood and cared for, because why not? Everything or anybody shouldn't be judged by what is predetermined by the society, but instead be judged by the heart they carry and the person they really are. Well, anyways, that's this little video, I guess. Until next time, adios, everybody. Tell me if this was trash or not. <laughs>